Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining and thank you for joining the last session uh, that I ran with Charlie. Uh, it's always a pleasure to train with Charlie and I'm sure we'll do a partner training for everybody soon again. Um, today, this session is uh, dedicated to global goal number 13, climate action. So today we're gonna focus on taking action with what I call or we call take on move. So how can we adjust in 1v1 situations? What do we do when we take on our opponent? How can we beat our opponent? So there are two key things that we're gonna focus on today and that's change speed and change direction. So if you're just joining in, one thing that you need for the session today is a ball and you need at least six pairs of socks. <laughs> if you don't have socks, it's okay. It's okay to improvise. So now, the, before we get started, the first thing I'm going to do with my socks, I'm going to be running this session barefoot, because I'm just going to kind of throw the socks out wherever I want. Good. So now we're going to get, take the ball, keep staying at home, training together, and let's get started. So we grab our ball. I see my socks everywhere here. I'm going to put them in any pattern I like, so it's important that I have any pattern I like, doesn't matter. So I'm going to start in every warm-up, I like to incorporate the ball, it's extremely important to incorporate the ball in warm-up. So now I'm just going to free dribble, and I'm going to just dribble in and out of the socks, wherever I like. So nice and easy, as slow and as fast as you like. Go for right and the left foot, coming in and out. Well done. The next thing, we're going to activate our core. Some of this is what we've done before. Some of this we learned from Charlie as well. First thing we're going to do is stand in a plank. You can stand here. I can come down here if I like. I can come up. My shoulders if I like. From here, I'm going to come into the, what was it, what did Charlie call it, the, the monkey crawl. So I'm coming in the monkey crawl, and I'm going to go laterally with my hands, my legs are going to follow. And I'm going to come other way, all floors, so you can see me from the side here. My back is straight, coming my hands, following my legs. Well that next thing. So now we see all these socks. So one of the take on moves we're going to work on is I'm going to fake right and go left. So I'm getting the defender to step or fake left, go right. So we're going to do it without the ball first. So I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to run around my socks. <laughs> I'm going to run. I can fake left and then go right, fake right, go left. So every time I make a sock, I step one way, go the other way. So I step one way, go the other way. I'm trying to get the defender off balance. So I'm working on this change of direction. So I step one way, go the other. So let's take about 30 seconds. Have a little bit of freedom with your space and your socks or whatever tools you're using. Fake right, go left. Fake left, go right. Down and fake left, go right. 30 seconds. Then I can take it easy if I need. When I get a pop, 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 pop. Big left, go right, pop, 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 pop. Next thing, I'm going to go in a little circle, a little bit of footwork around the sock, and then play the next one. A little circle around the stop, find the next one. So nice and easy little circle, find the next one. 
find the next song. Okay, go nice and slow. Now get off and speed it up. Well done. So we have the fake right to the left, and then a little bit of footwork with the circles around the sock. So now in our own area, I'm going to take a few steps forward, land, and I'm going to come up. A few steps backwards, land, find the balance, come up. So a little bit of dynamic stretching here. Same thing to the side. A few steps, landing. Oh no, I keep it stuck. I'm coming here. A few steps, landing. Coming here. Find the balance first. If you want to make it harder, I can really have to jump and land. Find the balance. Nice and easy. I'm just jumping forward. Out to the side. And backwards. One. Good. Last part of the warm up. I'm going to take the ball in my hands. So I always, again, like to incorporate the ball. So we start with activation part, the dynamic part. Now we're going to speed things a little bit up. Ball in my hand. Nicely, I can march with my back around the socks. Or I can ask behind me. Bop, 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 bop. Now we go. About 15 seconds. Different directions. Next one, ball the back, I can get. Oh, I can kick the ball here. Next one, quick, I see where all the socks are, the balls in my hands, I'm just shuffling. In between the socks, every time I need the socks, I go another direction. I'm all about changing directions, nice and low. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Last part, skipping. So I'm coming up here. If I want to, I have to incorporate the ball. Skip into the ball. It's okay to stay here. Get also on my knees if I like. Little well, challenge there. Well done. Really good quarter break. We're also going to rearrange our socks. <laughs> In these take on moves, it's all about change of speed, change of direction. And we're going to come into more detail on that shortly. So now we take our socks, we're going to put them in a straight line. Okay, well, I'll put them apart. Oops, here. Well, a lot of different footwork right now, preparing us still for these take on moves that we're going to learn soon. First one, first progression. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven socks here lined up about one foot apart. One touch inside. So I'm inside, that's the inside. So one time that I have to come in through my little sock gate. So we try again. So one touch, I'm moving my feet. Inside, inside, I only have one touch. So notice when I do this, I'm not looking like a penguin, where I'm not using any footwork. Football's all about being light on the feet and using different, different types of footwork. So when I'm doing this, it's really important, like a dance. So inside, step, step, inside, step, step, up, 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 up. Yeah, one more time. Good. Next one, 
inside two touch. So inside, stop. Inside, stop. Inside, stop. Bop, stop, stop. Bop, stop, bop, stop. So it's, I'm whipping the ball across, stopping. Whipping the ball across, stopping. So whip across, stop. Changing speed, stop. Speed with the ball, stop. I'm changing rhythm. So inside, stop. Inside, stop. Bop, bop, stop, bop. Bop, my socks went away. <laughs> okay, I'll take it in a second. One more time. Inside, stop. Well, that next one, this one's a little bit challenging. So I'm gonna go outside, one touch outside. So it's a, a lot of footwork back to come around the ball. So if I look here, I'm trying to come at a 45 degree angle. So outside, I'm coming around one touch, but this is the outside of my foot. So if I come a bit closer here, so you can see my touch, I'm going outside. At a 45 degree angle, then I'm coming around the ball, one touch. So it's a lot of footwork to come around and around. Two more times, nice and easy. 45 degree angle, I'm pushing the ball out. So I'm coming by, taking a step, taking a step. Last time. Oh no, it's a time, okay. Next one, two touch outside. So we did one touch inside, two touch inside, one touch outside, two touch outside. So we're going to look at this bat. I'm going to come close here. So if I have the ball on my left, I touch outside. Now I'm crossing over and then shifting my weight to my right. Cross, snap, hit. Cross, snap, hit. So if I start on my right, so I push it through, my first step is here where I stop it and then I plant my foot. So when I push, cross, step, hit. So when I do it, bop, bop, chuck, go, bop, go, explode, explode. Same thing with the ball. So now we start from the beginning. Take it as slow as you like to get used to the footwork. Bop, bop. I can speed it up here. One more time. Cross step hit. Cross step hit. Bop bop. Bop bop. Bop bop. Bop bop. Well done. Before we go on the next one, see we got here. Some Vincent, Yuma, <laughs> my Nana and my mom are watching. It's their birthday today. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's really nice that everyone's joined. Next one, three touch. So it's one, two, through. So we're going to work on different rhythms for the touches. So we're changing speed with our touch. Change speed, change direction. So where's my, where's my, where's my ball go here? Okay, I got my ball back. So with this one, I'm going to start with the outside foot. So one, two, through. One, two, through. Pop, pop, through. Pop, pop, through. So now we come back this way. I start with the foot furthest away from the sock. One, two, through. One, two, through. Pop, pop, through. Pop, pop, through. Come back again. You can do it. Add some speed. With this one, you can keep going, but watch the difference now in my touches, how slow and how fast they are. I'm going to do two slow in between my feet and one fast when I go through. So one, two, fast. One, two, fast. One, two, fast. So I'm changing the rhythm with my touch on the ball. One, two, fast. Okay, 
Hey, how else you can keep fast one slow? Keep fast one slow too. To get a defender out balance, it's all about changing speed. Two fast, one slow. So two fast, one slow too. We have two more in between this. So now we're gonna again start with the foot furthest away from our socks here. So my left foot is closest to the line, my right foot is starting. So as I pass the ball in between the gates, I'm stopping the ball with my sole here. And then I'm gonna go all the way to my left. So if I come a little bit here, so you can see me. The left foot now is the furthest foot away. I pass through, stop with my sole. I'm gonna work with a little steer hips here. Coming through, stopping the ball with my sole. So inside, stop. Inside, stop. Stop. Is that going all over here? Try again. Inside, stop. Put for this way, stop. So I'm really working on rotating my hips back and forth. Two more times. Can I go a little bit quicker? Well done. Next one's a challenge, so I can continue with this inside stop, or I can add this. Inside, so if I come here, so I come inside stop, the foot that stopped the ball with is now going to step forward. And then through the second gate, I'm going to hit it with the opposite foot. Stop, step forward, hit. Stop, step forward, hit. So if I do it without the socks, now that my left foot stops, I'm going this way, my hips are facing this direction. Step forward, I hit. So I come here. Step forward, hit. Stop, step, hit. Stop, step, hit. So if you can, we can try it without. You can even work stop, step, hit. Or we can try through the, the socks as well. So it's right here. Stop, step, hit. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. And I come back. Foot closest to the line now. Stop the ball. Step forward. Hits it between. Stop, step, hit. So, one last time. Stop, step, hit. And well done. Hey, Marie. Hey, Irina. <laughs> Hey, you'll say <laughs> from Sweden, so it's nice to see some Swedes, Romanians, Americans, Danish, Jordan. It's a really amazing how this game can be connected and what now the media can do for us all in this time to stay connected. So now we're going to go over some take on moves. So really quick, let's take some quick water break. Okay, I'm going to take away my socks now for now. Put them to the side. Okay, so we're going to learn three to four different moves. The first move is similar to the inside-outside, what you've seen in previous sessions. But it's a little bit different. So I, I like to have a metaphor with everything. So I'm in Sweden, so today we're going to cook the Swedish meatball. So what do we have to start if we want meatballs? We need to start cooking pasta, right? So this first this first move I'm going to call pasta. So with pasta, inside, outside, so again I need to change speed and direction. So if I have the ball on my right foot, I'm going to come in, out when I explode. So I'll show you again. Notice my right foot is up the whole time. My left foot is almost popping to the side, and then when I put it down, that's when I'm exploding. So it's not inside, outside here. When I'm using it as a take on move, I'm coming in, out. Here. 
same thing with the left foot. So then I, I'm hopping on the right, I'm dragging and pushing when I'm exploding in this phase. So inside, outside, so bop, bop. So it gives me magic, that power to explode in the space and come around the defense. So in, out. So I want you just to work on those steps coming in, out. So I can do it without the ball as well. Coming in, planning, coming out, exploding. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. So then I take the ball with me again. So just in my own space, I'm just working on the basics of the move. In, out. Can I come the left foot in out? Drag, push. In out. I'm trying to get the defender to step this way so I can go this way. Bop, bop. Step this way, bop, bop. So I can go up and this way. So this is where we're cooking pasta right now. Well done, next one. So now we have this inside outside, we make pasta. But we don't want plain pasta, we need to add some salt. <laughs> so we need to add some spice so the defender's not constantly reading us. So the next part of this, a little bit of a challenge here. Inside, outside, but I'm adding a little flick to it. So when I come inside, I'm coming under. So the ball's coming up a little bit. But I'm coming in, I'm flicking the ball up. So it's going over a defender's foot, for example. It works good in really, really tight spaces, especially like the five side, five side and global world cup. Bop, over the defender's foot, I'm away. So nice and easy, I'm just working on that mechanic. Bop, over. And I receive the ball again. I can go with my left foot as well. In, out, over. Take 30 seconds, you can keep working with pasta, or you can add some salt. And well done. Next one, so we have our pasta all ready to go. So now we're gonna add the Swedish meatball. We need to make a really big meatball and we need to make a lot of meatballs. The meatball for me is big right foot left, big left foot right. So I'm dropping my shoulder, I'm getting really into it, getting, shifting my body weight, getting my defender to step so I can go the other way. So meatball, and then I'm going the other way. So big left, big right go left, or big left go right. So really, Stepping, going, coming across. Notice, when I take my escape touch, I come back inside. So if I picture a defender, I'm coming around, but then in front of them. So then I have the defender on my back. So I'm coming out, in, and then I'm cutting across. So I have on my back. Out, in, cutting across. When I'm exploding in the space. Take 30 seconds here. So let's take 30 seconds working on the meatball. Well done. So we have pasta. We have pasta with salt. We have the meatball. So now the last thing we're going to combine everything. We're going to put it all together. So how we do that? Take away a little bit of the salt here. So I'm going to pretend like I'm doing it inside outside, but I'm going to go into the meatball. <laughs> so if I have to go on my right foot, I'm coming and popping, but then I'm stepping away from the ball instead and then taking it with my left foot. So here's how I combine it. I come inside, step away, touch. If I do it with my left, so I come inside, step away, touch. So I start 
Like I'm making pasta, I'm going to the meatball, I explode away. I change direction, I change my speed. So inside step, step, then I explode. So inside step. So inside, step away, step. So now we're combining all the moves. Well done. In this last section, I'm going to go over all three moves with you. So three and a half, we'll count the pasta with salt. So we got pasta, pasta with salt, meatball, and then the whole dish. We combine everything. So yeah, let's start from the very beginning. Um, please go at your own pace. Please work on any move you want to go a little bit extra on. Focus a little bit extra on and enjoy. It's all about enjoying, having freedom with the ball, having fun with the ball. So yeah, let's go. About one minute. Start with pasta. <laughs> Make some meatballs. Last one, I'm going to combine them all. All right. Thank you all so much for enjoying. So we went over every move. So we started with the pasta, <laughs> inside outside. We added a little spice to it, adding some salt to it with a little chip over the defender's foot. The meatball, it's one of my favorites. It's the most commonly used, just the body. It change it, change it, change, shifting your body, for making them go one way, forcing the defender going one way so you can go the other way. Works every time. Sometimes the simplest take on moves are the best, <laughs> are the most, most effective. And of course, you can always look at many, many different fancy moves <laughs> that we can use and put on a show. It's one thing I love about the game is how to put in the show and how to kind of create the show for whoever's watching, the fans, for myself, for my teammates. But it's also, okay, what move in the area is most, most effective? So when we talk about being effective and we look at, you know, Climate action, global goal number 13. One of my mentor, when I work, one of my mentors, when I worked for Tiki Taka, he told me this. They brought this into their academy, which I loved, and it's called Think Globally, Act Locally. So what can I do as a coach in Stockholm right now where I'm working local, but I'm acting globally in a global way? So what small things can I do to make a global impact? So same thing when we're talking about Climate action, is it, you know, using eco, eco bags when recycling or, you know, with waste products and so on? Is it using public transportation? Is it, um, 
you know, uh, upcycling with clothes? Um, is it, you know, using a recycled water bottle? So all these little things can make a big difference in climate action. So in everything we do, and everything we do locally can also make a global impact. So again, thank you for joining. It was really nice putting on a session for you all today, and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday.